Okay, hi, welcome to uh, another Shed session. Um, we've been out into the Esketh Bank area this morning and have been with Peter Ashcroft, the most, probably the most famous cauliflower grower in the country. Um, and we have got said cauliflower because at this time of year, it's baby cauliflower time. So I love cooking with young cauliflowers um, and they taste sweeter. They're more delicate at this time of year. And of course, the banging season. So this is the, the first of the new season's cauliflower. Um, so I'm going to do a dish with that. I mean, if you can see behind, we've got some more of the ingredients that we picked um, while we're out there. That's, I mean, there is so much to see. So we only just got a tiny bit of it. But that's there, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But the dish I'm going to do for you is a dish that I've done before. Um, and we're going to do it with a, a yellow pea hummus. I've traditionally done it with a black pea. Um, but I couldn't get any black peas, so hey, we're going to do yellow pea. And that's served with a little smoky white onion sauce and a little bit of um, ham. Um, when I was at Northcote, I used to make our own, marinate our own and cure it. And I'm just using a little bit of um, basically Cumbrian ham today. Um, um, ingredients wise, we've got our cauliflower, which we're going to prepare for you in a minute. I've got some vegetable stock, a little bit of sunflower oil some garlic, a little bit of mustard, lemon, and the, uh, the yellow split peas, which are for the hummus. So once you've got the hummus done, you're halfway there. And then for the onion sauce, we've got some milk, cream. We've got, again, some veg stock. We've got a little bit of butter, and we've and that, that's it, actually. Ham, and we've, we're going to garnish this today with um, some... some um, sage flowers and some sage leaf and some spring onion okay so that's the little bit of a garnish okay so we've got our lovely bowl there we've got our pan on so without further ado let's um let's break off these leaves and uh, what i love about the cauliflowers is just the fact that um with these young cauliflowers you can use the stalk um and you can leave some of the leaf on. Okay, so carefully, because knives are sharp, um, let's just start to pare some of the leaves away here. And just get behind that, just take your time carefully and work our way around that. And um, as Peter joked when we were out there on the mark, he loves doing these, because of course, I want them all the same size, and they can never get them all the same size, so there's the challenge, there's the challenge, okay, so these aren't going on the floor, by the way, they're going into my little uh, secret drawer here, my little bin, and as I'm working down now, I just need to chisel away there, and just get into the cauliflower, without cutting right through, and just taking that sort of heavier stalk at the top of the cauliflower off, and trying to give me something that looks a little bit turned. You know, we're not bothered about having it look classically turned. Uh, it just wants to look a little bit attractive. Cauliflower well, should be attractive, you know. Should be. Okay, and there we go. Just lovely. You can shave it right. And you can see that you may or may not think that is attractive, but it is. Okay, and I'm leaving a couple of the leaves on like that. Okay, and that to me, you know, I always say ingredients should turn you on. That turns me on. That is a special cauliflower. So, all I'm going to do is cook it for four minutes in our boiling water. So, in that boiling water, I've just simply got to put some salt, like a so, and then, oh, well, this will be heavily cling film. Um, and then a little bit of, um, of butter, just so it washes washes through when it comes out and it just captures a little bit of that. But so you can use olive oil if you want, because uh, olive oil is good with it as well if, you just, if you're vegan and if you're not wanting to use butter. So, hey, it's, uh, well, yeah, tend to. So I'm gonna pop, pop our cauliflower in there, whoop, and there we go. Now, so that means we've got four minutes to get this dish done. Four minutes. Okay. So, a little bit of lemon. And I want to zest a bit of lemon. So, 
there you go I'm just going to capture that zest on there and then I'm going to cut the lemon um, let's just get the container here um, and we can I've cooked the, the yellow the yellow split peas until they're nice and soft and they can go in there like so and I popped a little bit of seasoning and chili into the vegetable stock. Um, so I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice in there, making sure I don't land too many pips in there. I'm just get one out there. And then garlic. So I've just got two small cloves of garlic going in there. I'm going to put about 50 ml of veg stock and I can always pop a little bit more in after. Mustard, I've just got a Dijon mustard, a couple of splashes of Dijon mustard in there. And in a way, with your hummus, you can, you can make it whatever you want really. Um, okay, and then I've got some sunflower oil here and I'm going to pop that in as well okay let's check I've got everything in there salt let's bob a little bit of salt in there right here we go and give it a good give it a good old blitz go okay let's check it and we need to check it quickly the seasoning I'm gonna pop, pop the lemon in now that's the zest and then just check the seasoning Consistency, I'm happy with. Hmm. A little bit more oil. Okay. And release it. Okay. Pop that back on. <laughs> it's quite slippy, is that? Woo! All right, so just wipe that there. In fact, quite slippy is an understatement. It's very slippy. Okay, so I need to just check now how my cauliflower is. Oh, and I'm thinking I'm going to get it out now because what I don't want to do, I don't want to overcook it, okay? So I'm going to get it out now after four minutes and then just pop it back in when we're nearly ready. So I can leave that spoon in there, leave that and merrily let that just simmer away, okay? While I try and get this uh, rather <laughs> slippy thing off. Just with my Maurice, go around and make sure we've got that. And then I can just keep that there for a second. Um, pop that. Let's just give them a quick swirl of water. And pop them back in there. Wipe my hands and then we can just... Out there okay I'm gonna need that later so I'll just put the blade back over there ready for when we do the sauce so now we need to quickly make our sauce and what I've done I've roasted some onions roasted some onions two small onions roasted some onions two small onions about 200 grams I've got some smoked butter, 
Now you can either smoke your onions or use smoked butter, but in this, this case, I'm using some smoked butter. And we've got some milk and cream and some stock. Okay, some vegetable stock. So I'm gonna pop the butter in there, which is about 50 grams of butter. And then pop our onions. You can just hear those going in now. Mm, I can smell that smoke just coming up now. Okay, so let's have a look. Don't you just love that, that smokiness? I mean, um, it's just like if you love smoke, it's just one of those real nice things, isn't it? Our onions are just sauteing away there. Put a little bit of stock in there. A little bit of milk. And a touch of cream. Okay, equal quantities of milk and cream. Um, and just give that a little bit of time just to come together. Um, and then we'll need a little bit of seasoning. So. And then just basically simmer that out for about four or five minutes. Okay, so let me just have a little taste now. You wouldn't believe how that smoke has just gone right through. Mm, delicious. And I can thin it down a little bit if I need to after. And just pop our pan in there. I'm just going to pop a little bit more of the vegetable stock. Put our And then just, just give it a quick blitz. Like so. Oh. But there we go. Got our sauce there ready now. So I'm going to bob our cauliflower back in. Okay. For about a minute. Okay. And then bring our bowl close to me. And... We need to get a nice spoonful of the hummus. Because the cauliflower's got to sit on that, so. Okay. Mm. And then. I want to put a few of the, the peas just there. And I'll get the cauliflower out now. Pop it back onto the tray. And move our pan away so we can see what's going on there. Right. So we need our garnishing material, which is the ham, the sage leaves, at the ready. I'm just lose that. That ham, you know, looks like it, it'll be a little bit too much. So I'm going to cut that in half. Just use a small amount. So I need to now sit our cauliflower like so on there. And then I'll just check that I've got, check that I've got enough spoons actually. We're running out of spoons. But uh, you wouldn't believe how easy that sauce was and how lovely it tastes. So we're just going to spoon over the cauliflower. We don't need 
loads of sauce. We don't need loads of sauce, but we need a little bit of sauce. And then I'm going to put a piece of ham just at the back there. Okay. And then if I can get all this stuff out of the way, <laughs> um, I just want it to finally shred. I'm going to move that so you can see. Um, shred a little bit of sage. We don't need tons because we don't want to overpower it, but sage and onion go nice, don't they? So just shred a little bit of sage like so. That's the spring onion. And to finish it off, we've got our sage flowers that look rather colourful. And there you go. That's our cauliflower on a yellow split pea hummus. Um, with a little bit of ham and a smoked onion sauce. And I hope you've enjoyed that. We really, really, or I really even, re encourage you to get out there and get some new season's cauliflower. It's an absolute must. I love it. See you later. Bye.